subscribe to self low or you will fail your semester exams hey guys it's me today i wanted to talk regarding the match between summon fc and heretics in icebox as which was the final finale match both the sides chose viper on icebox let's start analyzing this match i will just go through the utility usage by both teams more ma mainly viper because i am viper centered player and i would like to learn about viper and most of you guys know this i would like to show viper sided stuff from both teams let's begin first round is the pistol round avoa from heretics throws this wall which i find quite strange Viper walls barely cause disruption when pushing through, so I do not know the exact rationale behind this wall. I think that this blocks the terrorist from peeking close long behind the box which is over here. Pushing through this wall without any information could be a death sentence from multiple angles, which is behind box, above box, far long, close long, cubby, etc. There's so many angles. Maybe that's why this wall is good. This won't work in matchmaking, of course, because people just push through the wall in matchmaking without any information anyway. But in tournaments, this wall is pretty good. But it's not the only reason why this wall is pretty good. After I was looking into round 7 of this game, which I will just get into, and re-evaluating this wall, I can say that it's a very good wall. If you look at mid, this wall blocks off the entire mid and helps maintain mid for CTs. In round 7, you'll see how heretics use this wall to gain mid presence with the, with the help of their jet. Back to the present. He also throws the Molotov to stop early pushes and maintains control for some time. Mystic later throws his wall in mid to block people from watching mid cross, which is pretty standard. This wall is pretty good. They try and push B and take control of long in the process and try to fake rotate A and then come back B again, which seems a slightly disorganized judging by their positions on the map. Mystic then throws a lineup orb to block CT and they play after planned game. Here it, it, a big mistake was made from Mystic. I discussed this issue before in my Viper lineup guide which I have since removed because I have to rework it. But for those of you who have watched the guide you will know about this. Her Molotov alone is not enough to stop enemies from defusing the bombs half first half or the second half. You need to use both her orb and her molotov. Playing the lineup game was not effective and Mystic peaked to check and dies in the process. Spike, you can see the damage now ticking away. Doesn't have to get off it just yet. Gets it to halfway and now Jack left in a 1v2. Let's see his perspective here. Let's see what he does about this one. He will have to commit eventually and it's gonna be right now. The diffuse is coming in. He has to stop it and he can't. Second round, 0-1. Second round wasn't too interesting. One thing but I have noticed is that both Avova and Mystic throw poison orbs towards default. I think Avova did his research and is using these orb lineups to stop plans from happening rather than using only the snake bite, unlike uh, Mr. Mystic. It's a pretty interesting strat of a viper using the orb as a denial strategy for planting, which is pretty interesting. Third round, 0 2. Unfortunately, I don't know how, but Nisov kills Boaster with the boom bot. Sage then walls off plant cross but dies in the process from Killjoy on top. And after that, Heretics uh, retake even before the bomb was planted pretty nicely. They rotated quickly because the booster died to Boombot, so Heretics rotated pretty quickly to retake A side. Again, you can see the orb being thrown by Avova towards A default. He throws the orb from here. I really wish we had demos so I can give you the POV straight away. He also has a Molotov for it, I'm guessing. 4th round, 0-3. Avova and Mystic use the exact same vaults as before. And as I said, uh, the, this vault towards be long is not really that effective in stopping pushes, but it does uh, put some fear in the heart of the terrorists. This round, someone do not respect this wall and push straight away towards long. They take long control without the fear from the Viper wall, but, uh, but Heretic gets a kill up in mid uh, and they maintain rotation control. Because you're able to block off the rotations, you can strafe safely stay side without any fear. And following this, they play defensively. Meanwhile, Summon FC rotate towards A and catch Heretics off guard. Heretics failed to maintain the, the rotation control. Summon played very nicely here and they played time. They played the time game and they win the round. Pulled out now. He's spikes going. Try and convert They're something, off. but like you said, spikes elsewhere. Nice work from Summon. This is a very good takes the time's ticking. You've got to get a move on now. They've got to find these fights and find them clean. Nothing being presented. Boaster boys are taking their time. They're playing patient and they make their presence noted at just the right time. Lol knows this one's done for. 
good answer from Summon. Good Fifth round, one three. Both Vipers use the same wall, but this round gets very interesting. After Abova falls back, he throws his orb to cut the view of Cross. I think he does this so he can kill the planter with no worries from yellow box. Even though, of course, yellow box can peek from the right, no one's gonna peek from the left, so he has a better chance to kill the default planter. I think that's the reason why he's using this orb, but I may be wrong. It may simply be an orb for three taken. I am not sure. It is a good strategy if that's what he's trying to do, though, but he cannot execute it this round since someone pushed through the smoke to support the planter. Mystic uses the same smoke to block CT, which makes Abova's denial as well a bit harder because a CT guy can deny the yellow box from right side being uh, peaked. Like, like if they had a guy in CT who is watching the right side of yellow box, uh, Abova's uh, strategy to deny the plant would be pretty successful. But uh, someone FC blocked the uh, CT with their smoke. And someone plays very good. They play a very good setup and they win the round very nicely. Sixth round, 2-3. Abova uses this orb here along with the wall to take the ultimate orb and fall back. Summon respect the smokes however and they do not push through to try and kill him. And here a very insane shot from Nuki. He kills Mystic and now Summon have lost the only smoker. But luckily their sage revives him and this revive this revive plays a major impact in, the, in this round upcoming. Sage revives him but dies to Nuki's blades while Nuki was trying to push. Uh, however, Mystic was uh, alive and he escaped the blades. Boaster and Mo they take A control and they pressure A side to keep people busy. Both, both of them take A side very slowly. Awova uses his orb to try and deny the plan just like he was trying on B. But just when he was about to throw his Molotov to try and deny, he gets killed. Uh, to counter this, I think Abova needs to learn some lineups to, be sa to safely throw the Molotovs from elsewhere. Later on, after the bomb is planted, Mystic from the terrorist side uses his ult, which is very good here. This revive is the reason they won the round. Here the decay dam uh, damage is quite a lot. This play by Mystic is very good though. When the race starts to defuse, he throws the Molotov and race dies instantly because of the decay. The decay made the person 1 HP and the Molotov instantly killed them. And Sage had 150 HP. The decay brought Sage's HP to 10. That's huge. Sage taps the bomb and instead of pushing through the ult like most people do in matchmaking, Mystic decides to cancel his ult so the ult goes away and it catches their Sage off guard completely. And not only the fact that he caught Sage off guard but also the fact that Sage was low because of the DK and the DK lingers for 2 seconds now. This was a beautiful play from Mystic, rather than risking a push through the smoke, they completely removed the smoke itself and luckily Mystic was risked and this is why we can see this play happening here. 7th round, 3-3. Three, three. This round, you'll see how Abova's wall is pretty useful in mid. Look how Nuki always pushes tube when he wants to be in tube and now it makes sense why. Abova's wall helps Nuki peek, helps Nuki to try and take some picks, just like here shown. This wall is actually viable, even though at first it might not look viable for Viper to maintain long control in B. Still, you're able to block off mid and isolate picks, which is very important in any fight. Mystic uses the same mid wall, which is pretty good since the defenders do not get inf information regarding mid. And uh, Ababa tries to push long, B long. Because of this push, heretics will know now that it's a full on A tech rather than B. Someone FC then plant the bomb when they take control of B, uh, I'm sorry, A, and they are forced to back away due to Killjoy ult from heretics side. Now here I was slightly confused. Mystic uses the snake bite, but when you when the spectator switches the view to Killjoy, there is no snake bite. Where is it? It's on the smoke. So the snake bite was not thrown on the bomb, but on the orbs. So did someone FC have miscommunication, and did Mystic think that the bomb was where the orb is? I feel like Mystic tried to delay the diffuse with the help of the orb Molotov combination, but. Uh, he, all, he, he thought that the bomb was planted inside the orb and I tried to look at it carefully. The direction matched uh, wherever uh, the orb was and I think Mystic threw the Molotov here. Uh, they probably had miscommunication or Mystic was just lost a bit uh, in the moment, in the heat of the moment. Either that, of course, it's possible that he threw the Molotov elsewhere but uh, look, judging by the direction he's trying to throw and judging by the fact that uh, in Killjoy's view there is no Molotov anywhere, it makes sense that it is inside the orb and it would make sense for the orb to be there if the bomb was there. So they had a miscommunication issue, I, I, I think. 
Moving on, Aboba uses his ult to block vision and try and defuse. Mystic at this point does, does not have any more snake bite. He had already used two of them and now he can't delay the defuse. So Mystic tries to go inside the ult and they play time. Uh, and once uh, Aboba taps the second time, he, uh, Mystic kills him straight away. Eighth round, 4-3. So far, heretics have a very good defense setup. So let's see what happens this round. Heretics are right now on an eco round. The same walls are used by both the teams. Someone try and put pressure up B long and they fall back later on. After putting pressure in B long and falling back, they push through mid. Unfortunately, here, it would have been insane if Niso landed his ult. Unfortunately, Niso misses the ult and couldn't get any kill. However, it does damage to HP. Someone push right through to A and they plant the bomb while Mo lurks around mid to cut off mid rotations. Mo gets a kill and falls back and the observers as usual are doing a terrible job in showcasing frags. Either way it was a flawless round from some NFC. He's gonna be keeping himself safe and I like this discipline being yes. from summoned yep. and a flawless round to boot. A prime. Ninth round, 5-3. This round, heretics decide to push A and get more control towards A as a CT. They don't, they don't fear from pushing sometimes. While having Avova play solo B and uh, Nuki solo mid as well. Avova gets pressured and decides to fall back to side uh, while heretics get a pick uh, up in A and push someone back. Nuki then pushes mid, gets a bit greedy and unfortunately falls to Mystic. And someone decides to push B immediately after this. They know that heretics have a bigger presence towards A and mid, so it's uh, worth risking B instantly. Porter gets a kill towards CT and the kill is Lowell with a beautiful pick. Avova then Molly's default to try and deny the plant and falls back. But Boaster beautifully kills Avova and someone decides to rotate A after that pick. Which is pretty beautiful here. As you go, Boaster gonna pop the ult to clear it out as well. This is very well played from Summon, methodical on approach. Boaster now cresting the corner, Pora has made presence noted. Boaster bangs out of over and Heretic's down to two now. But this time, Pora peeks belong to try and get information and gets early info that they are rotating. And he decides to try and go mid to try and stop the rotation. Heretics decide to rotate A quickly because of this information. He misses two shots, unfortunately, but he was also fortunate he could find a gun right in front of him. He switches the gun and gets the kill on Mystic when he peeked. He had Niso play Swing around the wall and dies and uh, Pora falls as well. I'm going to see 11 seconds left on the clock here. Niso trying to find something to stop the spike from going down. They're both on the side, which is a problem. This opens up a chance poster again. 10th round, 6-3. Someone decides to push bit very aggressively this time. No Viper wall at all. Uh, they get the pick and they charge like a bull towards A. After getting the pick, Mystic uses this wall and plays the Lurk game. But, so unfortunate. Nisov just locked down the site and he gets the 3k and wins them the round. Mystic later dies because of, uh, you know, getting sandwiched. 11th round, 6-4. This round, Aboba gets pushed back and throws the orb here and plays around the orb. After showing a bit of a presence, someone rotate and push B while Sack secures the Lurk and falls to mid. I still haven't seen any Viper in any first strike tournament, any first strike matches, playing boldly inside the smoke. You can see here, most of you guys who know, most of you guys who watch me know that I like to play around the smoke. And you can see here in pro play, that playing around the smoke might have helped them a lot in certain situations, especially for Avova. They don't really check uh, the, if someone's in smoke, they just uh, push through it and stuff. So, playing around the smoke would have been extremely beneficial at certain situations. Even though it's a risk, it might have been extremely rewarded for Aboba. Aboba gets a pick across and falls while the rotation comes in. Nisa comes on the flank and again fails the ultimate to the same guy who killed him before, which is Boaster. Summon when the aim duels nicely and when they, they win the round. Yellow and over towards B lane. Unfortunately, once again, not getting any value whatsoever off the showstopper. Doma holding a deep off angle away from Yellow. 12th round, 7-4. Niso decides to aggro push A and gain some control while Summon decides to let Sax lurk around and get B control. At the same time, Aboa uses his ult towards B long to deny B. Summon still want to take B and aren't letting go. The entire team now stacks B. Sack uses his ult here, forces Aboa to come back. Lowell then walls off B long to, to block the pushes from B long and gets two kills somehow, which the observers of course missed to capture as usual, as they are so trash. And um, he revives Aboa. And he dies unfortunately, and lots of duels happen, and someone loses round. 
unfortunately, and the first half ends here. Second half, it just steamrolls to, towards the other side. 13th round, 7-5, official round. Someone play a different setup where Sage and Chet play B while Viper plays A. It looks like they are saving their walls for retakes as uh, Mystic doesn't use his wall at all in defense side, uh, in, in, in the side that he's holding. Aboba uses this wall here, but heretics do not clear this corner because of Judge presence towards the right side. Doma gets 3k and triple summon, but uh, summon kill the other heretics and make it a 2-2. Mystic tried to molly the plant to delay, but couldn't do it on time, and the bomb was planted. Mystic then smokes the bomb to defuse, but someone didn't want to chance anything. They wanted to kill Pora first and then defuse later on. They did a good job at this and eliminating heretics this round. Play from Jet there to play this position in, just to kind of bait them to yep. not clear this corner. We'll see if Avova is oh, no. as clinical as expected. He has taken down Mo, but Doma, it's all on you. That's one, that's two, that's a spike down and a third now noted. Oh, oh yeah. Doma, three to start, the fourth evades, but he's done so much work. Yeah. I is mean, it 2v2 still, though? I, I was just about to say, Heretic's finding kills elsewhere. Pora finally responding with that one, but Nuki getting into the back lines and causing all sorts of trouble for Summon. Let's have a look at these post plants now. Nuki and Pora, the two here. Look at those different angles. That elevation going to come into effect. All that utility being put down does draw out a, loose, a bit of information that missed. Mystic got that kill, hold on. Bora now having to do all of this. Looks for one, has to back away. New angle, where can he go with this? Trying to play the time just perfect, but now isolated, forced away from what he wanted. Not on the spike just yet, sees one, sees another oh. Mystic. So sharp in this. 14th round, 8-5. The same setup is being used by both teams. This time, Heretics try and push A. Mystic uses this orb and molly to deny the plant till the rotation comes in, which is pretty beautiful. Mo then tries to flank mid but couldn't succeed. Abova tries lurking around the smoke while Mystic gets the kill. Mystic orbs default again and you can see how this orb is denying the plant a lot. This is a well played strat by Viper here. Using the orb to deny the plant and playing around the smoke constantly, it's very nice. If Doma would have walled the plant side off, they could have planted the bomb but the orb was being a big distraction, a big presence to which they face. And no one's giving up anything. Mo's just holding the back. And that's a really good angle. He doesn't need to do any more. He has done his job. He's been a nuisance. He's stopped them peeling away. And he's now confirmed exactly what they're up to. Yeah, the problem being, though, both are coming back all the way. 30 seconds left. Mid of over, trying to find something through the oh, site again. No kill coming through, but there you go. Mystic does open up the round finally with 23 seconds left on the clock. Mystic finds another. Niso will fall. Spike all the way over to the front of site now, but the kills are going in favor of Summon here. Yeah, lol, the last one alive. He can do some work. 13 seconds, though. How much does he have to do with this? 10, none. Mystic did everything for them then. And I love that. Again, Summon just... 15th round, 9-5. The same setup as usual, this time heretics try and push up mid. Avova knows that they are pushing mid and he throws a molotov to try and deny them and gets the kill through the double damage. He pushes mid however and dies to low level. Heretics push A but summon sandwiched and ended this round. Lol just, it's only baiting if you don't clutch so we'll see what happens. Uh, Niso still alive as well, Boaster just kind of lingering around. Definitely heard steps, definitely knows his players around, just has to be careful to not give up too much here. You don't want to get into an uncomfortable position, but they want to close that net and they're going to. Well, now going to hear the steps again. though. Jack does find Niso leaving lol. Your last one alive here, surrounded. Good night, Boaster. Good it's going to get it. And yeah. 16th round, 10 5. This round, Mystic uses his ult to block off A. Heretics try and push B, and Doma uses the wall, but Niso gets the pick. Mystic still stays A and he, he can't leave till he gets the information. He later decides to rotate when he gets the call, while Nuki is revived from Lowell's ultimate. Now it's a 4v3 now because of the revive and heretics try to plant. Pora for some reason cancelled the plant at the end which is odd and he dies to wallbang when he's trying to plant the second time. Mystic uses this wall for retaking while Molly in default and uh, it was a stressful 3v3. Lockdown. Yeah, this spike diffused here. Niso. Very, very close. Pora gonna get the spike down close by, but actually. Some damage coming through the Radiant Eye crate there, just next to default. Oh, 
And they will find Ooh, it. Most actually finds that again, yeah. Yeah, straight spamming that spot. You cannot plant there. They are so prepared for this. 30 seconds now. Everyone's congregating on the side. Niso has oh. got to make a play happen. And look at those angles. This is not favorable at all. Niso is going to try and do it again. Nuki bails him out from one, but he needs more. They need some safety, some security. And Mo gives them none of that. Spam yeah, on the wall. Up and over, over, but it's Boaster to do it. Lol now left in a 1v2. Gets oh, 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 oh. Sick I work from Lowell at the very end. Someone just had to stay. 17th round, 10 6. This round, Mystic decides to play B, and both the Vipers choose their wall towards B long. Heretics push mid, however, towards kitchen and just slowly work their way towards B. Walking into. Jack finding a load of damage through the edge there with a nano swarm. On to that. Viper actually swings out with the Bulldog, finds the headshot, and three members of Heretics are actually going to get themselves up into kitchen. Oh, we've got to be careful there because we saw Doma. All the way over in the spawn. Sorry, it wasn't over. It was, yeah, it was Doma over in the yeah. corner here. He's walled himself back. Yeah, this is awkward though, because those. Doma resists Mystic but dies while peeking, and Ababa uses his ult on the bomb. It's now a 3v2, and someone decided to save it instead. The Viper ult was a big denial ult and helped Heretics win this round. And they are not getting the help they need. I think Avova just popped the ult as well, potentially. I'm not too sure. I don't see it, but definitely heard it. Yeah, there it is. Excuse me. Now, Mystic. Trying to work. 18th round, 10 7. Here's a lineup for all you wipers out there. This orb blocks elevator, and instead of using a wall, which is very costly, heretics use this smoke instead of instead to block elevator. You will see, however, that this costed them a round rather than costing them a utility. Because Mo was playing very aggressively with the AWP, and as you know, Jet has a jail free card, which is quite annoying. Mystic uses this orb, which is pretty nice. Mo gets the rotation pick on Obova and Heretics now need to re-evaluate re their strat. They decide to push B while Mo was not looking. This is why the wall might be more cost-worthy than the orb. The wall might deny entire elevator and the below elevator. And uh, the orb that uh, Obova used just denied elevator only and not the entire mid. Sag then uses his ult but Niso flies to side and kills the ult after killing Doma and Sag by using his own ult. They do with approach, okay, yep. good tag. But that's information found. Doma does not need to take this fight you just yet. Run. 30 seconds left. And it looks like, yeah, they're, they're going to commit to this one, okay. Doma, going to stick around for this. He's got some help in. He's found Jack, though. That's not what they wanted. That was not meant to be how this goes. Doma now is surrounded. Niso is coming online, ladies and gents. That's two big picks on the site. And he actually destroyed the lockdown as well, so that's crucial. Lowell's wall to default is pretty nice, and it blocks mid view for the CTs. It's a pretty good wall for you guys who are Sage. Lots of gun battles later, Simon recheck the site nicely and Pora's ult goes in vain, unfortunately. Or in the 1v2, I, I wanted more from him. And we're gonna need to see it now, they're on the spike, they're defusing right now. He gets the shot on one, but he tries to spray on the spike defuse. Time is... 19th round, 11-7. Heretics use the same Viper wall towards B, but decide to go full on aggro push. Doma saves the wall for later, and you can see here, uh, this wall is pretty good. Mystic uses the wall and it helps him plant here very nicely. This wall is pretty good. Avova was playing the lineup game, however, and uh, it's sad because uh, these are some basic things that every team would have, uh, every good team should research. If you guys watch my lineup analysis, you would know exactly what's the problem. Your lineup along with Orb needs to land before the first half is done. Since Ababa didn't have his orb at all on the bomb, the Molotov should have been thrown even before the defuse began. Only then you would have some hope for stopping the defuse. It still wouldn't guarantee a J-free car. I hope Ababa has learned from it. His, his lineup basically landed very, very late and uh, they won the round by just defusing him. It's sad. Pick. They need to push forward, yeah. There we go, Boaster again. Oh. It's always Boaster. He gets them in this one, but Niso instantly yeah. trades it back. Quick little thing. The He's defusing. Oh, they couldn't get him off it. Mystic did the dirty to him. Just, I mean, maybe there was there was Match too much. Point. 12th round, the last round, 12 7. These guys try the same start again. This time, however, it fails badly and they just lose the game. It was a win for some NFC, but Heretics, they won the entire series, they won the major, uh, the end. And uh, this Icebox game was pretty interesting to watch. However, it wasn't really the best of Viper, I think. Uh, there can be more plays that they can do, there can, there can be more research that they have to do in order to improve their Vipers. 
Also, Viper was used on Bind in finals and I will take a look at it as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this breakdown. I was just trying to break down the things that are happening for you Viper mains in order to learn something. I hope you learned something from this video. I'll see you guys later. Peace.